For people who are well versed in how the approval process works for drugs and vaccines, they say it wasn't a surprise, the new and proper names. But for those hearing about this for the first time, many say they were confused and took to social media asking why Health Canada would take such a step. This is not unique. Like this is this happens with uh, when they name medications. Still, the tweet saying there would be new names for the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines caught many people off guard. I think that the way it was announced was very um, confusing for people, uh, you know, calling it a name change when in fact it was just actually them being given a name. Scientists say the most important thing to note is that the composition of the vaccines has not changed, even though technically they will be called something else going forward. The act of naming drugs and vaccines is a standardized process and can take a lot of time. With the COVID-19 pandemic, experts say there was no time to waste. So it can take several months for this to occur. So had we waited for a proper name from the very beginning, you'd only see the vaccines being released right now. Whereas we didn't have the time, the luxury of time to wait for a proper naming. When it comes to those proper names, some are a bit of a tongue twister. Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine will now be known as Comirnaty. Moderna will be called the Spike Vax. And AstraZeneca's will be called Vaxivria. With full approval for those who are 12 years of age and older, doctors hope it will help get more people who have held out to now roll up their sleeves. Some people have said that they wouldn't get the vaccine while it was under, uh, you know, perhaps a, 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 a non full approval use. And now that it's been granted full approval, some people will have the confidence to get the vaccine. So again, the vaccine compositions are the same. We've got these new names in the mix. But many healthcare workers say it's likely that lots of people will still use the old names Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca going forward. I'll send it back.